Hello. What story am I going to be telling you today? Today's story is called The Story of the Golden Egg. I hope you're all excited. So, let's begin. There was once a man, a good man. He had no family. He lived all on his own. And every day, this man would wake up, make himself some breakfast, and go to work. He worked in a farm. He worked as a woodcutter. He worked hard and came home and went to sleep. And he did this every single day, again and again. This man had a chicken and this chicken used to lay an egg every morning and he would make this egg every morning and eat it mm, how good the eggs were near his house lived another man this was a bad man he watched this man eating his eggs every day he wanted it mm. And so one day, he waited and watched until the good man went off to work. And then the bad man went to his house, saw the chicken and caught it. He took it back home in his bag and he went home and cooked it. He ate it. Mm -hmm. He ate it all up. The good man came back home from work that day and looked for his chicken everywhere. What happened to my chicken? Where did it go? Where is it? Where is it? He searched and searched and searched. Then he realized that the bad man must have taken it. He saw him eating the last of the chicken and he went to him and said, Wait, is that my chicken? Have you seen it? He said, No. I haven't seen it, although I know that it looked tasty. I wanted chicken. I worked so hard to grow it, the good man said. I looked after it. I took it to the market and sold its eggs to make myself some money. Where did it go? The bad man said, well, I don't know. Maybe you should go buy yourself a new one. The, bad, the good man said, Okay. The bad man said, You know what? I'll buy you one. Let me think about it. Okay. I go off to the village. And so the bad man set off into the village to the market. He went and went and went and went and looked everywhere and he got a little duck instead. The bad man gave the duck to the good man. And this duck laid an egg every single day. Then one day it was pouring, it was raining, it was a storm. There was an old man, a poor and weak man, who was shivering in the cold, walking around looking for some shelter. He went and knocked on the door of the house that the good man lived in, knocked on the door. The good man opened the door carefully. Oh, come in, sir. You must be cold and it's wet. Come, let me make you a hot meal. Let me share it with you. The poor man ate the meal. He felt satisfied like he'd never felt before. May I see the duck that you have? Will you show it to me? He says, yes, I will show it to you. And under a basket sat the little duck. He showed the poor man the duck. And this man saw it. Said, okay, this is your duck. It's fine. Here, can I hold it? So he patted the soft fur on the duck's back and he gave it back to the good man. Which is 
time the good man put the duck back in the basket, the poor man walked away after the rain had stopped. This man woke up the next morning and saw something miraculous. The egg of the duck was made of gold. This had never happened before. It was a golden egg. Wow! He was so happy. I have so much money I can look after a family if I wanted. Brings all the things he needs and he does this again. He sees the golden egg. He's so happy. He gives away the money. He's so content now. But there was the bad man. Do you remember him? He heard everything about this golden egg. He went and he watched over the fence. He observed this. Good man coming, picking up the basket and picking up the golden egg. The bad man saw it and was enraged. An egg made of gold? He spoke to his friends and he got them all together and he said there's a golden egg in that house. Come on, let's go. We're going to take it straight to the judge. We're going to tell him what we want. They all discuss. They go together all the way to the judge. The good man had his golden egg. The judge said, come, bring him, ordered him to come. Bring the man here. So they all brought him to the court. The police brought the man. The judge is calling you, they said. Come with us, bring your duck with you. Me? My duck? Okay. The good man's very sad and very scared. He takes his duck and goes all the way to court with the policeman. The judge meets him there. The bad man is giggling. He knows that this is going to be his now because he bought it for him. This is the duck is my duck, the judge says. Does the, ju- does the duck make golden eggs? Can I check? Give us proof that the duck gives golden eggs. And he says, okay, here. The judge looks at the duck and he's waiting. The bad man, who's greedy, he wants to know now. He wants the golden eggs for himself now. But wait, the eggs are white. There's no golden eggs. What's going on? The color's still white. The bad man says, no, no, no. I saw it. I'm sure that there's proof that they go, that this duck gives golden eggs. The bad man took it home. And told him again and again and again. Nothing. All the eggs were just regular eggs. The judge informed him, saying, no, there's no golden eggs here. The good man said, oh, thank God. He took the duck back home to his house. He kept it safe and he watched next day. The eggs were golden again. I keep them safe for my family. I have the golden eggs to look after me. And I'll be so rich. I'll grow and I'll bloom and I'll be happy. This is what the good man thought. And the bad man was sent off to jail for wasting the judge's time, making a fool of me. Go home, you good man, you can be free. The good man lived happily ever after. That was the end of my story. Thank you.